everybody. It's Bourbon Bill, and tonight, a very special episode. It's Blind Flight Night! Or Blind Flight Night, for those who don't like the theatrical voicing that sometimes occurs on this show. Big, big shout out to Ty. Thank you, Ty, for sending this in. He packaged this up with care. He included a little noisemaker in the package that upon opening erupted onto my floor with piles of rice. And immediately two things happened. I canceled my grocery trip to the store. I had rice to feed the kids. And secondly, my wife got mad and I had to go get the sweeper and clean it up. So, you know, Rita don't like rice laying on the floor of the house. What can I say? So, big shout out Ty. Thank you again for saying this. So I'm excited. These are some of my favorite type of videos to film, honestly. Sometimes people send me just absolute hitters that are delicious. Other times I get a bunch of shitters, and at least it's a fun video, right? But generally I get good stuff. So, again, thank you, Ty, for saying this. He sent five of them, you know, that's nice. Nice, nice labeling here, uh, black with A, B, C, D, E. It'll be on the screen what they are for you as I'm going through them. Rita's not here tonight to help, so the answer key's over there somewhere, so I can't reveal them as we go along and just have to be at the end. And, I'll, and you won't be shocked because you'll know, but I'll be shocked, okay? And that's all that counts. So let's dive in. Glass numero uno, but really it's letter A. So letter A, the red Glencairn. Smells exactly like Knob Creek. It just has that dank oak that Knob Creek is known for. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'll be a monkey's uncle if it isn't Knob Creek. Or a bean product. All right, let's take a sip. Smells like Knob Creek. Tastes like Knob Creek. It's quite delicious. Um, really good balance of like that brown sugar and oak and caramels that Knob Creek's kind of known for. If you're familiar with it, it's it's tasting light though. I don't I don't think this is 120 proof. That's the problem. Let's take a second sip. Nah, it's got that sting on the back there. Up. Oh. I'm going to say it's one of the nine-year store picks. I don't think it's like a 12 or 15 or super old one. I'm going to go with Knob Creek 9, 120 proof, single barrel. Got a quick water break here to cleanse the palate for extreme accuracy. Normally we drink things like Fiji on this channel or something fancy, but Kirkland tonight, you know, just the Costco brand. You know, it's hard to say no to that when it's like 30-some waters for like three ninety nine. You know what I mean? It's like, it's cheaper than air. Glass B in the green. Now, what in good Lord's name is this? I get like a lot of cream. Just like, like a cream sickle here on this bad boy. What I should say is it's 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 sweet with a lot of like vanilla custard. It's very vanilla sweet. I get a hint of like red fruit here in the front. I get, but it's not. It's mostly vanilla, but there's a hint of red fruit on there. Smells about the same proof as the first one. Let's take a sip. My oh my, that one's also very tasty. Um, gosh, I don't know what that is. It it. Drinks a little lighter. I'm going to say that's about 110 proof. Very viscous, though. Long finish. Only knock I'll give this one is it's a little simplistic on the palate. It's like vanilla, caramel, and like just a hint of, hint of red fruit. And that's kind of just what you get all the way through. We take a second sip. You know, I think this is a Weller Antique 107 store pick. Um... It just, maybe it's weeded. It kind of reminded me of like a little bit of a Weller there. But it's not as fruity as most Weller antiques I've tried. But, you know, single barrel store pick could, could be anything there. It's it's thick, feels about that 17, 110 proof. And maybe it's a weeder, but it's not Maker's Mark. And I really wouldn't know what else. I'm not really familiar with many other weeders. So, could be something odd, but we're going to go with Weller Antique 107 on that bad boy. The third Glencairn, letter C in the blue. Let's give it a nosing. 
Now, see, this smells like well. This is way fruitier. Way fruit. A lot of stone fruit in here, like peaches, pears. And maybe even a hint of raspberry, which is more of red fruit, I know. But there's definitely a little fruit cocktail thing going on here in the nose. And an undercurrent of vanilla and caramels. I, I don't get a lot of oak on this one. There's some oak there, but not a lot. Let's take a sip. Good lord, that one's delicious. Wow, okay. That's in first place so far. Woo! Roller coaster of flavor and heat. I'm going to guess that's in the 120s as far as proof. Like, we're going to go with like 127 on that. And I mean, this just took off on the palate. I mean, the fruit then, boom, just another, another burst of fruit and some caramels. It had like a raisiny date thing going on there as well towards the end. Take a second sip. Man. Oh, that's good. Thank you, Ty. That one. Mmm, that's good. It's still burning my mouth. I might even up my proof on that one to like 130. I'm going to go 130. It's... I think it could be finished. But I do not have a good guess for this. I really don't. I'm going to lean will it, but I don't think that's quite right. I'm not, or I'm not confident on the will it guess. Letter D in the goal. Straight bananas and cream on this one. Is this Jack Daniels? God, this smells like a Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof. Straight up. I mean, if this isn't, I'll be a monkey's uncle. And you know the sad thing? I just love bananas so much. It's like instantly, like, this is rising to the top just because of that beautiful, delicious bananas foster cream of bananas. Bananas and caramel scent going on. Let's take a sip. Man, that's good. Oh, that could be my new leader. It's either... <laughs> I'll tell you... Uh, it's either a Jack Daniel single barrel barrel proof or like an Old Forester barrel strength. Because both of them are from Brown Foreman. Both of them have banana on the palate sometimes. But Jack Daniels has it usually more. I'm going to guess this one's like a hundred and... 31 32 proof I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with my jack daniel single barrel barrel proof guess on this but if i'm wrong and it's an old forester barrel strength i told you so last but hopefully not least the black glencairn letter e oh god these last three have been chef's kiss of deliciousness i'll rank these then but it's tough. It's going to be tough. On oh, the nose on this one's fantastic, by the way. There's like deep oak in here. Deep vanilla caramels. Like, real deep. This, oh, this smells like Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Like, like a good one. With that, just pounds of oak in there. Let's take a sip. Wow. Oh, that, the finish on that. It's all caramel, brown, sugar. There's an oak in there. It's, it's sweet. There's a, there's a little bit of red fruit that runs all the way through on that. Very thick on the mouthfeel. Very thick. Oh, I don't know. I was on the nose, smelled like ECBP, but now I don't know if it's Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Take one more sip. Oh, we got it. We got it. It's an Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, but it's a single barrel store pick that's younger than 12. It's very good. It's very thick. It has the caramels, the brown sugars, and like, like the little bit of red fruit, but it's just missing that heavy oak component from a heavier aged Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. So, proof on this one feels pretty high. I'm, gonna guess, I'm also going to guess that like, I'm going to guess 133 on this one. Very good. Now, give me a second to come up with my ranking here. All right, we're back. Thanks again, Ty. This was delicious. No crappy ones in here. So take note, those like to send me blind flights. He included no horrible scotches, 
Nothing to ruin me for the for the evening. So, good job, Ty. Alright, my rankings. The Gold Glen Karen Glass D was my number one winner. Second place was really tough. I was torn between C and E. So, the blue and the black. I ultimately picked the blue because of the... Just the complexity of flavors was a little bit higher. So, that's... We went in second place on number C. Third place was E, the black. Now, the black was actually pretty close to fourth place, which was the green. Um, very good. Very good. And then last place was the red. It, it's also very good. All these are A-plus buys from Bourbon Bill um, in terms of palate and everything like that. 100% would drink all these again. Okay. I don't know the price on these, but I would drink all these again. I'll tell you that right now. Unfolding this here. All right. Glass A, which was the red, which was last place for us tonight, was <laughs> a Knob Creek single barrel store pick. Who fucking called it? I nailed that one. Damn. Sometimes you're good and sometimes you're lucky. And on this channel, it's generally that we're lucky. Okay. All right. Um, fourth place, but could have been third, was... The green, which is the, the second one here, B. B was an Old Elk 10-year straight weeded whiskey, 110 proof. So I guess that was Weller Antique 107. So I said I even said the proof was like 107, 110. All right. And I, I got the weeded notes, but, you know, I've never had an Old Elk product that I enjoyed until tonight. So thank you, Ty, thank you for that. That... Gets me thinking, honestly. Um, I've had like just a regular old elk, like the 90, 95 proof or whatever. Didn't like it. I've had some of the finished ones in like cognac, you know, whatever they have, Armagnac, whatever. Those are okay, but not worth the money in my opinion. That one there though, let me know how much that one was. That that 10 year old elk straight weed whiskey. That had to be a store pick, right? That's not like a normal old elk, I don't think. Well, boy, that's good. If that's like. 70 ish dollars that's a slamming hitter i may have to relook at old elk all right in second place was actually the third glass here the blue glass c glass c was oh i did not get this at all stag batch 22a 132.2 okay i really enjoyed that and actually Damn, that got second. That was real good. I didn't even get that. It was, no way. That didn't even smell like Buffalo Trace. Oh, of course, now I'm like, oh, yeah. That's Buffalo. What an idiot. It does smell like Buffalo Trace. All right. Our number one first place in the gold. Letter D was in... Oh. Dang, I was so close. Old Forester Single Barrel Barrel Strength. From Gershom Liquor Store, 131 proof. So I almost nailed the proof. I guess that was a Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof. But I said, if it wasn't, it was going to be an Old Forester. And by God, that is the most banana Old Forester I've ever tasted. I've had a couple of these single barrel barrel strengths. And I get, you know, usually a hint of banana. That was all banana. That was a good one, Ty. I really enjoyed that one. I mean, that one tonight, um, for sure. So Brown Foreman. Jack Daniels, Old Forester, eh, the same thing. Close enough. Dang, I almost got that one. So, uh, if I give myself that one, I'm like 50% right now. Two out of four. All right. Last place. Well, not last place. I'm sorry. This got third place in the black was E. I said this was like an ECBP store pick, and I was fairly confident on that. I was completely wrong. This was Joseph Magnus Cigar Blend Batch 154, 119.9. This was my probably my biggest whiff. I mean, it got third tonight, so it's not. It's really good. It's just, man, it really it really smells like a good single barrel ECBB. Thank you again, Ty. Excellent lineup, sir. You outdid yourself. You're a scholar and a gentleman.
So if you like what you saw tonight, please like, comment, and most importantly, hit that subscribe button, everyone. Thanks. Have a good evening.